and Mark's uh, Scorpio Sun, Libra Moon, Cancer Rising combination. So I'm going to start with the Cancer Rising. Cancer is a water sign. Cancer is the first water sign. Cancer is a cardinal sign. Can cancer is um, the definition of a water sign, in my opinion, because um, water can be so misunderstood. Water has a lot to do with emotion. Water, water has a lot to do with uh, empathy, with feeling the others and feeling within yourself. So a lot of it, it's less so much rational, but a lot of it is sensed it, through, through feelings. So cancer, uh, being the first sign, uh, in my opinion, kind of has a lot more expression to, to these feelings than uh, Scorpio and Pisces has. Um, cancer kind of deals with emotions in a lot more direct way. Uh, hi, Sandrine. <laughs> um, so cancer kind of deals with, uh, with um, emotions in a lot more direct way where they kind of take them face on, so front on. Cancer feels everything in the moment and reacts a lot quicker. Re you can see on a cancer's face, for example, if, if something is not right, you can... They, they don't hide their emotions this much. They, they kind of just uh, like to, uh, to be nurturing, like, like to be loving, like to be um, uh, in control somehow. Also, you have to take into account that it's a cardinal sign. But um, you can see when they are not receiving that back or where, where their uh, giving is not reciprocating, that a cancer might get grumpy or a cancer might get upset or a cancer uh, just changes the mood in the moment. So I believe when you have a cancer rising, you come across as a very warm, pleasant uh, presence. So water in itself makes you feel good when you're um, uh, when you're um, around them so water makes you feel nurtured water makes you feel uh, at home and cancer has this this very this very accepting vibe about it this very cancer deals with immediate emotions and immediate dear ones around them so uh, when you are in a conversation with a cancer i think they will not be aloof um, as a pisces is or uh, drawn back as a scorpio is necessarily but that warmth would come through and they will make you just feel nurtured and feel well and feel uh, homely in in their company so um taking this as a rising sign i would say that probably the first impression that you make on people is that of a fairly emotional people a person but at the same time a very warm comfortable vibe a pleasant person to be around someone that that just relaxes you with with their with their presence and i think Cancer risings also want to make you feel feel uh, safe in their presence. So both Cancer and Capricorn have something of this making people feel safe around them. So um, Cancer risings that I have met, they usually uh, have a calm tone to them, have, um, have something that's very reassuring, something that tells you, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here to make you feel comfortable in the discussion with me. You, you can feel safe and there will be no judgment. There will be just, um, yeah, just support, support in, 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 uh, in all of this. And that, that warmness that comes from water, but from cardinal water, that real interest in the person that's with you, the person that shares the conversation, the person that shares the meal, the person that's, um, um, around you like that interest of making them feel good in your presence that that definitely doesn't come um, unnoticed so definitely uh the cancer rising will make you feel also not very threatening um people will not feel threatened in your in your presence they will feel okay that's that's a very warm uh hearted warm vibe person then if we were to take the Scorpio uh, sun, so Scorpio is, uh, um, is actually the, uh, the second water sign and here emotion already 
kind of gets transformed a bit. So Scorpio kind of holds a bit within that emotion. So Scorpio has learned that uh, after cancer that not everyone has the purest intent, not everyone um, is uh, is there to uh, to look after everyone. So Scorpio kind of still has that good intent of making people Actually, all the water signs really care that people trust them and really care that they are helpful in some way. So water signs usually have, uh, are misunderstood because water signs usually um, kind of want to heal people. They, all of them, even Scorpio, even, uh, even Pisces. But with Scorpio, it's more like, okay, I'll hold it for myself. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to hold it in. I'm not letting too much uh, about myself be known because I know there could be enemies out there and I know that people can hurt me. Um, I will still be the stone, the rock. I'll be the, the, the strongest person in the room. I'll hold it together. I'm not going to fall. But at the same time, I'm going to try to still heal, help, be empathic, be compassionate to people. I'm still going to try to support them. I'm going to be fair about it. I'm, if you mess with me, I'm ruled by Mars and Pluto. I'm going to mess with you. But my goal in this life is, is, is to, to be fair and to be supportive. And love is my goal because I'm water. <laughs> I, care about, I care about this. But I'm not going to I'm not going to open up and make myself be vulnerable. I'm not, um, not going to let anyone take me down. So that cancer warm vibe is then taken into the sun sign that's a bit more contained, that kind of says, okay, I, I will keep some things from myself. I will be sweet and nurturing to you, and, but I'll keep, I won't, uh, I won't show you my underbelly. I won't be vulnerable in here I'll, I'll keep myself strong and i'll help from here from where i'm at and i'm gonna go through everything in life and i'm gonna conquer it all i'm gonna survive it i'm gonna not um let it take me down i know i understand how hard it is and you will probably see this i'm still gonna try to give you that vibe of calmness and make you feel good around me i'm gonna take it in myself but I'm, I'm actually so sensitive because I have a rising that's cancer and I have a sun that's Scorpio. So I feel it all. I feel it so deeply. And most people don't know how much I feel it. They know, okay, they feel good around me and they know that um, I can empathize with them. Um, because I'm a Scorpio, I'm, I'm talking first person, <laughs> because I'm a Scorpio, um uh i'm not i'm not gonna show weakness but i'm gonna kind of make them understand that i get them i'm not gonna lower myself or just uh help people that don't want to help themselves but I'm, I'm i'm here to actually feel for you and i cannot stop by by feeling so i'm, I'm still feeling everything um, and still trying to communicate that you're you're okay with me and fighting my own battles because I'm a strong Scorpio in my sun sign. So I think both of these combinations of so the rising and the sun make someone very, very much in tune with what others are feeling, very much sensing the room, very much sensing what the intentions of people are, very much sensing, um, uh, yeah, sensing where people are at. And because it's Scorpio, it will keep it for itself and it will kind of decide, okay, I'm going to take this person as this, this person as that. Um, this is the person I can trust more or less, but you're still going to hold a lot in and you're going to know a lot more than you let others know that you know <laughs> about their emotions and about um, how they're feeling. But then we're going into the moon sign. I said, and I keep on saying that the moon for me is the most important in understanding yourself. So the moon is in Libra. We were talking emotional. Now we move to rational. Air is rational. Earth is also rational in a different type of wear, but air has to do with thinking and less feeling. So you might come across very emotional on the outside, very um very much in tune with the emotions of others and yourself and also that vulnerability that comes from water might be visible 
But if you are to take it to your inner world, it might be that you notice that I actually am a lot more um, binary or uh, a lot more rational on the inside. I get the bigger picture. Again, air is very intuitive. Libra is very intuitive. Uh, not many people talk about this. So Libra, um, Libra senses so much and it kind of, this is how they deal in partnerships because they, they sense the vibes of, of the other people and they, they are able to read them and exchange and say the right thing at the right time. Libra also, as I always mention in my videos, loves har harmony and loves bringing things in balance. Um, and in harmony. So Scorpio likes to kind of support people, but also get some sense into them. So Scorpio is the non nonsense type of sign. It's not like Pisces, okay, I'm going to support you through everything. Although I know you have a Neptune conjunct your sun. So there's a Pisces influence to all of this, but I'm going to make an abstraction of this for the moment. So, um, and then Libra also has a bit of this non nonsense, but in a different way in, okay, I need things balanced. So I would say that someone that has a Libra moon with a Scorpio sign just needs a lot of, um, first of all, it's very quick to evaluate where people are at. Um, it's very quick to read people, read the intentions of people. It's very quick to decide if the person is fair or not fair in what they ask for, in where they're at. Um, but at the same time, uh, Libra is, um, what do you, what, what's the word? I don't find the right word for it. So Libra kind of has the rational uh, thinking uh, and is able to tell Scorpio, this is where we're going to act. This is where we're not going to act. Cancer might come across as a lot more warm, heartfelt and all of this, but Libra really is rational about everything that you are doing. So all that emotion that comes on the outside is still supported by a very rational side that kind of sees, okay, this is not worth my time. This is worth my time. Here I need to balance it out. This person is right. This person is not right. One point with air and water energy is that it's very in tune with everything. So that could be the pain of such a combination of being too in tune, seeing too much, understanding too much when you just want to act and not get it, not understand, not um, uh, it's, it's easier. It's even easier to have a, an Aries moon because it's basically act, act, act. I don't need to, uh, to understand and I'll get things done. So Libra might sense too much and start considering, evaluating opportunities. Although with the two cardinal signs, uh, Cancer and Libra, I would say that you definitely like to act as well and uh, Scorpio is, uh, is Mars. But you might feel too much and you might feel, okay, I, I understand so much, so I should be doing something, I should be giving something. Um, it's also it's also a combination of a person that gives a lot because um, water gives, but then Libra also gives in partnership. So you're kind of torn between okay, I'll give you some rational advice, or you know, like I'll give you my support, my uh, my emotional support, and my um, uh, yeah, my support in a in a more emotional way. So definitely you might come across a lot more emotionally th emotional than you are on the inside. On the inside you might be a lot more rational and a lot more uh, driven by things that make sense, things that bring harmony, things that bring balance, things that are beautiful, things that will make people's life beautiful. Um, and there's also this push and pull between Scorpio Mars so Scorpio is a lot more, okay, I'll go for it. I'll, I'll be, you know, like I'll be ruthless. I'll, 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 you know, tell my truth. Mars is also very much telling the truth. I'll, uh, you know, like I'll, and then there is the Libra Venus who's kind of balancing and no, no, let's, let's be, let's not go for someone's throat if they said something wrong. Let's kind of be balanced about it and see where they, where they come from.